And now we do come to the uh, first track action, and it is the pentathlon for women. There are two races for this. Uh, what matters, of course, is the times that they do, and therefore the points they score. And you can see the season's best displayed there. They are, in fact, um, I won't say the lesser athletes, but the slower athletes over the 60-metre hurdles. But they do include some of the favourites for medals, in fact, as we look through the lineup, The very exciting young talent of Neve Emerson, the world junior champion last year, Commonwealth bronze medalist, and she has already excelled this season with a 4,549-point score. Next to her, Verena Preiner of Austria, who was sixth two years ago, and she also is having a good season. 4462 her heptathlon score this year. Next to her, Elena Shuk, Ukraine. Notable javelin thrower, of course, won that at the junior championships. And uh, not perhaps so consistent yet in heptathlon. Look out for her. And here's one of the big favourites, the silver medalist from two years ago, Ivona Dadic from Austria. Hasn't done a heptathlon this year, but has done 4787 seven points. Hannah Mauders of Belgium, particularly good at the long jump, uh, world junior and European junior medalist. And the field competing by the most experienced competitor in this lineup, that's Eliska Kucinova from the Czech Republic. Back to very close to her best form already this season. As I say, the faster uh, hurdlers will probably go in the next race, which will include Johnson Thompson and Dharma, who um, are two probably the two biggest favourites for a medal when it comes overall. But as I say, particularly look out for Dadic in lane six here. So Emerson, Kleiner, Shuk, Dadic, Maudens and Klucinova. The first race of this European Indoor Athletics Championships. Set. Well, away they go. And certainly off to a very good start is the Austrian Kleiner. Dadic coming through strongly at the end, and Kleiner who takes it from Dadic, and 8.39 shown on the clock. Well, that's a new personal best for the Austrian, so a really good start for her, and I think most of the competitors will have times, or several of them, pretty close to their bests here. Confirmation of that winning time, 8.39. And uh, Dadic confirmed in second place. Personal best for Emerson there of 8.54. Yeah, good start for her. Taking her best down quite substantially, in fact, from uh, 8.68 before that. 8.68 yeah, before then. So that's uh, exciting news, I think, for an outstanding talent in World of Days. Let's look again. Prainer always very quickly into her running. Second from the top of the picture there. Or the right of the screen, I perhaps should say. And then uh, Dadic and Emerson finishing behind her. Also close up there was Maudens, the Belgian, who was going there on lane seven. Well, I think this track has proved before to be a good uh, fast one, as athletes like to say. Good conditions here, of course. It's uh, nice temperate conditions inside the stadium. You know this stadium, Peter. I mean, is it traditionally a quick track? Is it well, fertile? I mean, I, I, I think it has been. I mean, obviously, uh, you don't have so many meetings, but there's always a big invitational uh, international here in the last few years. Only opened seven years ago um, when we were previously at the European Championships in Glasgow. It was in the Kelvin Hall, uh, which actually had a bigger capacity than this Emirates Stadium. But there it is. There's the result. Prainer, 8.38 from Dadic, 8.53. And you can see personal best and season's best for those first four. Uh, Shook and Klusinova closing that particular lineup. One more race to come in there. Yes, and Katrina Johnson Thompson on the uh, nearest to the camera here in lane eight. She's a very decent hurdler, best of 818. Not always such a good starter, tends to come through the race. This is perhaps not one of her very top events. The high jump and long jump would qualify for that. But uh, she'll be looking to get a good start here in a field which also includes uh, Solène Ndama of France, who is a very fine hurdler in the blue uh, of France there. And in fact, the championship pentathlon best of 8.11, which was set by her compatriot Antoinette Nana Jimu, 
uh, the double European indoor champion at this event, may well be under threat. In fact, I would expect Ndama to get that because she has done uh, 803 this season in that full lineup. Laura Ekenetzi coming back to competition after a couple of years out. Then Ndama, then the brilliant young Spaniard, Maria Vicente, who uh, will be 18 just towards the end of March this year. So a youngster who had a brilliant season last year. Then Anouk Vetter, very experienced Dutch competitor. Then Jania Krisan, also with plenty of experience from Hungary. And Katrina Johnson-Thompson, who won this title four years ago in Prague uh, with a championship uh, record of 5,000 points. There's Ikanetsi then, the Latvian. Particularly excels outdoors at Daphne, a brilliant javelin thrower. Selene Dharma, the French athlete who's having a brilliant season, has taken her into one of the favourites contending for this uh, event. Then Vicente, the young Spaniard, a lot of eyes on her. Wonderful talent, reigning world and European youth champion. Next to her then Anouk Vetter, the Dutch athlete. Heptathlon best of 4.548 points, good hurdler with a best of 8.25. A consistent competitor across the range of events, as is the Hungarian Genia Krisan. Again has got uh, a big best ever score of 4.631 points. And finally, Katrina Johnson-Thompson. Very successful season last year, starting with the Commonwealth Games gold medal, despite a slight injury, coming through to take silver behind Tiam in the European Outdoor Championships. Tiam passing this uh, indoor season, so Johnson Thompson is the favourite for the your event. Marks. Fascinating to see how Ndama, the French athlete, gets off to a expected good start here. Big breakthrough with that uh, 4672 score, the leading uh, performance in the, the world this year. So Ikanyatsi, Ndama, Vicente, Vetter, Krisan and Johnson Thompson. Second race of the 60 meter hurdles. Set. So there we go, set and Dharma off well. So to Johnson Thompson off well. And inside of the Dutch athlete Vetter. But here comes Ndama. Ndama takes it. Johnson Thompson in second place. Ikanyatsi in third. And well, 8-10 shown. It is indeed a new championship best in the pentathlon by a hundredth of a second, assuming that time is confirmed. In fact, it's confirmed as 8.09. The initial time comes up from the photo cell, and then we get the photo finish time. So 8.09, and uh, I think Johnson Thompson can be reasonably happy with her start as well. Just waiting for her time to come through. Well, there it is. And... Uh, as I say, I think she can be reasonably happy, and those are converted to the points that they score as well when you look on the international scoring tables. Once again, a whole host of season's best and personal best. As you can see, Dharma's a little bit down there, isn't she, Phil? But look she at the way she finishes. In start, yeah, she? But she comes through really strongly off these final hurdles and opens up that uh, what, two, two plus metre gap. Good run from Ikonaisi as well. And yeah. Coming back after a long period out. Well, uh, rewarded with a personal best too there, by a hundredth of a second. Just keeping an eye on Maria Vicente's time as well. I mean, she's only 17 years of age. There is a possibility she could challenge, if she can put all five events together, the world junior best. Very nice hurdling, very crisp hurdling from the French athlete. And there is confirmation of the result. Dharma with 8.09 for 1,109 points. Johnson Thompson, 8.27, season's best. Then Nick Agnetzi, personal best, 8.29, and a season's best for Vetta as well. With Vicente also, should be very pleased with her time, I think, of 8.36, only a hundredth of a second outside her personal best.
So that means that after the first event, Ndama has 1,109 points from Johnson Thompson, 1,068. And it's pretty close, obviously, at this early stage. And they'll, of course, have a, uh, the rest of their four events throughout this first day of the championships. Now then, back to this pentathlon high jump. And a look at Neve Emerson with the bar up to 184. Having cleared the previous height of 181. Took two attempts at 181, but 184, well, this would be a season's best for the very talented Neve Emerson. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed, Phil. Yeah, it's terrific jump there. Everything slotted into place with a run up and a takeoff and a lot of height there. I think we might be even what, looking at Emerson going higher, perhaps challenging her personal best of 187 indoors. As we look at Ivana Dadic, well, Dadic has been jumping extremely well herself. And she's nicely over as well. Well, that's worth 1,029 points to each of those athletes. And now we see Katerina Johnson-Thompson for the first time. She came in at 181, cleared that very comfortably. 184, well within her normal range. We're looking for her to get in the high 190s, we'll see. But, yeah, well, plenty to spare there. She gets over that on sheer talent, though. She was yes, chopping a stride. She was. I mean, the marvellous height there. Is... If you look at the card there, you'll see that the uh, bar, 187, had one failure. In fact, the four athletes left in have all had one failure at that height. And here she goes, which would be her season's best. Oh, yes, it's still wobbling, but it's over. That's terrific for Emerson. Ndama, meanwhile, is attempting 181 for the last time. No, crashed out. But two personal bests to her in the high jump, 175 and 178. So by her lights, that has been a very successful competition. Now, there are four athletes at uh, 181. We've seen uh, at 187. We've seen Emerson go clear. Here's KJT. Oh, yes, that's much better. The British record holder indoors at 197. 10 centimetres below that, and a little bit of relief because it was still a much better jump. Without a doubt there. Yeah, still stuttering a little bit. Now we see Lara Akanaisi, the Latvian. Nice jump there from the Latvian. Well, she's just seen one Latvian winner in the women's 800 metres. A little bit of inspiration there, perhaps. Gets over a season's best of 184. Yeah, the only one left in that particular group. And she can go on to try 187 next. But in the first group, um, Shuk and Dadic, in fact, have gone out. So, having said that, here is the chance, that last chance for Dadic. She and Shuk cleared 184, which is pretty decent, season's best, but Dadic, of course, would have loved to clear this height as well. 187, the two British athletes having gone clear. No, nowhere near, really. As I said, though, she gets 1,029 points. And uh, Shuk also on that same level. Needed three attempts to get over at 184. Mm, that was a decent try, but uh, not to be. Just seemed to rush it a little bit, didn't she, that final attempt? It was all a bit too hurried. So, we do just have those two British athletes uh, to go on to the next height. Now, here, we can take it up at 190. Just hearing that uh, Ikonachi has uh, retired, having been content with that 184 clearance. So just the two British high jumpers in contention still. Well, Emerson are trying to go over 190 for the first time in her life. She's done 189 uh, outdoors, 187 indoors, but already we'll be pretty happy with that 187 clearance. KJT will be hoping for more. 
and so the British record holder at 197. Failure first to go at 190. This her second attempt. Oh, again the stutter, but oh, that's good. Plenty of height. Yes, I think uh, she's really going well. I think she's feeling and looking very confident. Now then, KJT. Well, she failed her first attempt at uh, 193, which is the new height, going up in three centimetres at a time. This, a second attempt to stretch her lead overall in the competition. This would be the matching of her season's best in the high jump. They're allowed a minute now. Well, we're down to the closing stages. And there she goes, and that's the best jump we've seen from her yet. So Not only the best height, but the best technique, I think, Phil. Yes, I mean, soaring over the bar as well. I think there's more height to come there. The bar will go up to 196 in a moment. And that was really a very, very good jump indeed. Of course, 193 worth 1,145 points. She'll be in the lead after two events. Everything goes clear there. Well, as we mentioned earlier, she is the holder of the British indoor record at 197. Just a centimetre short of her British indoor record, looking to stretch her lead over the other pentathletes. We've seen a terrific clearance by her for 193. Just one failure early on. Psyching herself up ready. 196. World-class high jumping in this multi-event discipline. Saw her win the title four years ago, of course. Oh, yes, 196. It's all going to plan for KJT. And once again, an absolutely terrific jump. Yes, the bar did bounce up and down a little bit, but there was a huge amount of height there. Well, that personal best, a uh, British indoor record, and that equals the championship best from Nafi Tiam two years ago in Belgrade. Well, in Prague, when she won the title with 5,000 points, she did 195, so she's increased that a little bit. A little bit down on her hurdles time, uh, 8.15 in Prague, 8.15 or 8.18? Um, yeah, 8.18, just checking my notes. Um, and she was a little slower than that this time, but it's all going well, and she's heading for a good score. Look at the delight. Last chance for Katrina Johnson-Thompson at a British record height of 199 in this women's pentathlon high jump. 196, excellent jump already to her credit. Can she go higher? Well, no is the answer, nowhere near on the three attempts at 199, but a good first two efforts. And she, of course, like the other pentathletes, will come back in a little less than an hour and a half's time to undertake the women's shot. Hot. So we've had the 60-metre hurdles and the high jump, and that's how they look now, with Katrina Johnson-Thompson leading at 2.252, a very big lead over Ika Nietzsche, 2.093, Emerson, 2.075, and those personal bests in the high jump serving well for Ndama, who's got into third place just ahead of Dadic. And that's the full list of the competitors. And they're starting with the shot, the 12 competitors. Led off by Ika Nyatsi with the leader, Johnson Thompson, in second place. This, of course, is a weak, relatively weak uh, event for her, but she does have that huge lead. We're interested to see how Emerson, Dadic and Ndama do when they come to their puts. Emerson's been setting BBs this year, so the youngster in third place. Now, this is Ika Nyatsi. 
Magnus Best of 1392, the Latvian who's coming back to competition this year. There are three competitors in the lineup who've done over 15 meters. So they'll be looking to move up. You can yet see there through the shot cage. One can see that's probably a little over 13 meters to start with. She'll be followed into the circle by Johnson Thompson, for whom this event has been a worry in the past. We'll see how she fares this time. And it can yet see 13.31, so a fair start for her. Now Johnson Thompson. Well, she has got up to 12.68 uh, at her best. Let's see how well she can fare here. Well, that's not bad. That could be a PB even. Let's see, when she competed in Prague and got the gold medal there, she did 12 metres 32. And uh, she looks reasonably happy with that. This is an event, obviously, she had to, had to work on. Remember her throws, both the shot and the javelin, when it comes to outdoors, have been relatively weak. And there we go, the pleasure on her face. In fourth place, we switch back to the pentathlon. Anouk Vetter, well, she's a very good shot putter. Oh, very nice put indeed. Well, you can see the 14 metre mark there, and that's significantly over that. Nice putting there from Vetta. Better has a personal best of 15.45. And looks at well over 15 metres. Oh, she's got a rather placid look on her face. You can see the infield scoreboard behind her. Yes, 15.40. So just five centimetres shy of her personal best for Vetter. That's going to make a big difference to her standings. Yes, that's 8.88 points. For Sam next. Chris Ann, 1431 is her personal best, a good solid competitor throughout the multi event disciplines. There's a little down there on what she'd be looking for, perhaps. Oh no, 1401, oh, that's very good. Season's best, not a personal best, but a season's best. So now we have Neve Emerson, who's already improved her personal best this year to 1360. Oh, that's terrific. That's even better. That's getting close to 14 meters for this hugely talented youngster. Lying in third place overall at 5.075 and uh, the splendid shot put will help. She's, of course, a very good long jumper. She's looking a bit worried there, but now she sees how much it is. Personal best. Yeah, it's all going well for her. 13.93 now in the shot. No throws weakness for Nang Emerson. Now then, Dharma, who set the, the best time in the hurdles. Two personal bests in the high jump. And that leads her with 2.062 points in fourth. And decent shot put. Yep. I mean, she did do 14.47 earlier this year, so she might be seeking a little bit more, but she certainly opened up with uh, a very respectable distance in the mid-13s. Gained a little ground, obviously, on Johnson Thompson, but not much. 13.50 there. Lucinova in the shot of the pentathlon now. We're into the second of the puts for each of the athletes. 
Oh, that's a very good throw indeed. That uh, last white line there is drawn across the sector at 14 metres. So that's well in excess of that. Better, of course, with the best put of the competition, with opening with 15.40, but I think that's the second best that uh, we've seen. Yeah, there's confirmation. 14 metres 73. Well, that's worth 843 points. And here's Johnson Johnson, her last go. Already with a personal best, a modest second round effort, but uh, she'll be pleased with that 13.15. Let's see how she can fare on the last go. No, not so good. But uh, nonetheless, I think she'll be pleased with her first session of the day's work. Have you got a running total, Peter? How does it compare to Prague? Because her marks have been very close to it. But... Yeah, she'll be ahead. She'll be ahead because she was ahead in that one and also just in the high jump, a little bit down in the hurdle. So I haven't got the exact score, but ahead, certainly. Now, in the uh, short, here's Shook. 13.92 to start. And that's over 14. Not much emotion shown on her face, but it's uh, certainly a good performance. On the other hand, of course, her best is over 15, so maybe she'll be a little disappointed. It's a decent performance, but perhaps not too much more in her eyes. Okay. Ending with 14.28, fourth best. I know that. She's going pretty well, 14.32, very close to her season's best. Trainer certain to move up in the standings a little bit. Well, that's just over 14, so no better. Her best then being 14.32, which will gain her an extra 815 points. Selene Endama, very, very talented French woman, going into the shopper circle for the third occasion. Oh, that looks as though that could be yeah, a that's very, better. very big pull. Well, over, yeah. over 14 metres for Endama. Yes, indeed, and that's just what she needed. And she's uh, delighted with how way things have gone, because having opened with 13.50 odd, which was decent, she's now getting close to a personal best of 14.47. Come see, come see. Back 14.23. Well, that will take her above Neve Emerson. Um, possibly even Ikanietsi as well. well. We'll get standings in due course. I'll, I'll wait to see those come up. Well, the high jump continuing, but that's uh, the shot. Vetter, the best mark of the day at 15.40. Lucina, 14.73, and then Prainer, Shook, Dharma, and Krizan, all over 14 metres, the last with a season's best. Eve Emerson, personal best, 13.93. Katrina Johnson Thompson, personal best at 13.15. So the two British pentathletes going very well. Remember, they were first and third coming into this final event. Ikanietsi was in second place, but she may drop back a little bit. In fact, there we are. It's Johnson Thompson first with 2.989. Ndama, 2.871. Emerson, 2.864. Vetter's good shot moves her up into fourth at 2.859. Ikanietsi drops a couple of places to 2.841. And then Dadic, a solid. Sixth at 2788. And there's the completion 
of those standings. Not much in it for the uh, placings. But Johnson Thompson goes into the fourth event. Well, Johnson Thompson won the uh, pentathlon in Prague four years ago, and she'll be uh, looking to get a big long jump. This is the start list. There's the first six. Uh, Ndama, the second placer, fourth on that uh, running order. A young Spaniard to get things underway, Maria Vincenti, who, of course, is the world uh, junior champion and also at triple jump. And uh, there we go, Johnson Thompson to complete it. Interesting to see how the youngster Neve Emerson goes, because she had a brilliant start to the day. And uh, Johnson Thompson also did a personal best in the shot, 13 meters 15, and also did very well in the high jump with 1 meter 96. There's Katrina Johnson Thompson. Just seen her take her practice jump or two in the long jump. A crucial event for her if she's going to get anywhere near that 5,000 points that she achieved four years ago. All going well so far, and she's slightly ahead of schedule. But here's Anouk Vetter, a very experienced Dutch athlete. Well, has she got a serious problem, one wonders. And she may indeed have to pull out of the long jump, which is a shame. All 12 still left in coming into this, the fourth event, but it may be that Vetter is going to have to uh, withdraw from the competition. Well, that's a shame. This is Ndama, the French athlete who's lying second in the competition. Good long jumper, 6.27 best, and she must be close to that. Uh, she really is going very well indeed. Two personal bests in the high jump this morning. The fastest ever in a pentathlon indoor 60 meter hurdles decent shot put as well and now she's got a decent long jump in very close to her best here just about perfect on the board Selene Dana looking to consolidate second place 6.21 opener now then Katarina Johnson Thompson will finish the jumpers for round one of the long jump in the pentathlon we've seen a couple of jumps of 633 johnson thompson who jumped 689 when she took the gold medal in prague really good form early this uh, morning oh that's a long way but but that red flag is raised so it's easily the best jump we've seen but a no jump. Well, it's always a worry, of course, for the multi eventers because they've just got three goes. Oh, well, fairly well over. Seven centimeters there. Experienced competitor, but the long jump is one that can go wrong for the multi eventers Now we pick up Prainer in the second round. Prainer, who opened with six meters 13. That's the fourth best to date. The other British jumper, Neve Emerson, opened with a fairly modest 5.96. I mean, she got a jump in, but one's looking for well over six meters in her case. And Prana there, just slight improvement. 6.13 up to Kanyetsu now in the long jump. Started with a 6.12. Making a return after taking a year out from competition. Oh, that's good. That uh, looks to be beyond that red line. Or well, very close to it anyway. So Vicenti uh, and Maudens at 6.33 are the best jumpers we've seen. Followed by Ndama, 6.21. Dharma, in fact, had a no jump in this, this the second round. 
whereas it's a valid jump and a good one here for Ikonietsi. Ikonietsi, who was a European silver medalist uh, at the seven event heptathlon back in 2012. Katrina Johnson Thompson opened with a no jump, and here she is in the final jump of round two. The best still 6.33, shared by Vicente Moudens and Ikonietsi. Well, that's a safe jump, and it's the best we've seen. So it's certainly not uh, as far as we saw in Prague four years ago, but enough to stretch her lead and mean that she remains the cast iron gold medal favorite for this event. A nice safe jump there, she really had to. She can go for it in the last uh, round to see whether she can stretch that out. Gaining some more valuable points, but as it is, that's uh, six meters 53, that's 1,017 points. Takes her four event total to 4,006. Now then, to start round three, we have this uh, very exciting new talent, the 17-year-old still, she'll be 18 very shortly, Maria Vincenti of Spain. Good jumper, of course, as she showed when she won the uh, triple jump last summer in the Youth Championships. We'll just chop that stride a little bit again. That's very similar, I think, to her opener. She started with 6.33 and then 6.31. And that's a similar jump there for Vicente. So she could well move up the standings a little bit uh, with some good long, long jumping here. But a lot to spare on the board. Could have been around 640 otherwise. Well, she's getting plenty of support from the coaching team. Really exciting young talent, easily the youngest in this field. And no improvement. 626, but a nice hug there. Now, Ivona Danic in the long jump. Last chance for her to stretch that uh, points tally. Good speed. Oh, a good jump, too. Excellent jump there from Dadic. That's uh, second best only to Johnson Thompson, the athlete who was runner-up two years ago, runner-up in the world indoors as well. Very much a major contender for a medal. And that sort of form is what uh, she needs. So, getting close to the 1,000 metres. Well, there we are, 6.42 shown on the screen. So that gains her 9.81 points. Now, a last chance for Emerson. Disappointing so far. Hasn't got over six metres. Brilliant start to the day. But she really needs to get, if she's going to stay in medal contention, quite a lot further. Oh, and she does. He's proving to be a fine competitor, this youngster. Because that, after two disappointing jumps, is really coming good when it matters. Lovely to see. Season's best of 6.11 has just gone. This is well in ahead of that, no question about it. Oh, super perfect on the board, really, or very nearly close to it. And she looks delighted as well she might. Let's see what the distance is. Yeah, six meters, 29 there for Emerson. We're fairly well up in the stand, just looking down, just about the uh, start of Johnson Thompson's run up here crowd obviously aware, I'm sure they've been made aware of it by the announcers that KJT is on the run, run up, here she comes, good controlled run, trying to accelerate into that board, oh that's a big no jump, it's a very long way but it's a well over the, into the plasticine as well, so, well she's lost ground compared to Prague but she's stretched her lead in this event with a jump of 6.53 in the previous round, 1,017 points, takes her up to 4,006. Maybe she'll be a little disappointed. She was so thrilled this morning when she high jumped 196 and did a personal best, of first time ever over 13 metres in the shot. This is just a little bit down. It's still, nonetheless, it's a season's best for her. 
and the best, of course, most importantly, of all the jumpers there. And there are the KJT support group. And there's the long jump result. Katarina Johnson-Thompson, 6.53. The season's best. Then Dadic, a personal best, 6.42. Vicente, Ikanietzi, Mauden, 6.33, and Emerson staying in contention with that brilliant uh, indoor best in the last round of the competition. Prainer also a season's best, and Ndama staying in contention, the French athlete, with 6.21. So that's four events completed. We will have the 800 metres to come. They will run it all as one race, 11, 11 competitors. And now we come to the final event of the pentathlon. Those are the standings after four. Katrina Johnson Thompson leading at 4,006, over 200 points back to her compatriot, Neve Emerson, the youngster, 3,804. Ikanietzi, 3,794. Ndama, 3,786. And Dadic, 3769. They appear to be the contenders for the medals. And if you saw earlier our projection, it was that Ndama would move up into a medal place. And uh, we'll see whether that uh, does indeed come to fruition. Here's the start list. All the 11 competitors left in this event will take to the track in this occasion. Lucinova, Moudens, Vicente, Crisan, and Prena. And they're the big names, Dadic, Ndama, Ikanietzi, Emerson and Johnson Thompson. That's the reverse order of their standings. Yes, I'm just seeing Alina Shuk isn't going to start. Yeah, so we're down to ten. So here they come, introduced to the crowd. First of all, Eliska Glusinova, the Czech athlete who was third four years ago. Then we have... Hannah Maudens, the numbers are their positions in this event, so she wears nine. We're moving upwards, ever upwards. Eight, really good showing by the 17-year-old from Spain, Maria Vicente. In seventh, very consistent competitor in major events, Jenya Krishan, fourth in the 2017 championships. Wearing six, it's Verena Preiner. Have to do a lot if she's going to challenge still for a medal. Back in sixth place now. But we come then to the top five, all of whom are certainly in contention. First of all, Ivona Dadic. And uh, she was second two years ago, and also second in the world indoors last year. In fourth place, the really breakthrough athlete of this year, Solène Ndama of France, started with the fastest ever heptathlon, 80 hurdles today, and she's had a really good day, a couple of personal bests in the high jump. Here, wearing number three, making return to top-class athletics very successfully, Laura Ikanietzi from Latvia, former European outdoor silver medalist. Now the brilliant youngster, Neve Emerson for Great Britain. The world junior champion at heptathlon outdoors. The Commonwealth bronze medalist. And here is the big favorite, the defending champion. Well, the champion from Prague, I should say, of course. Katrina Johnson-Thompson with the gold bib on there. Well clear in the lead. Huge margin, remember, of over 200 points over Emerson. Just a little below par in the long jump compared to what she did in Prague when she did 6.89. In Prague, she ran the 800 meters in 2.12.78. So this is a good event for her. Personal best outdoors of 2.07.64, but that 2.12.78 remaining her indoor best. Uh, Prainer, though, I've said that she's going to have to move to go some to move up from six, but she is uh, potentially the fastest in the field, having a 209.45 personal best. Look out for her, she'll wear the number six. Spanning across now. Here we come to the leading contenders. Dharma with four. Nikanyetsi with three. 
Emerson with two. And Johnson Thompson in the gold. Wearing number one. And unless something drastic happens, she's going to take the gold medal again here. The final event of the pentathlon. They started at 10 o'clock in the morning and it's now nearly half past nine at night. And this will stretch them out. Oh, we've got one drop out already though. So it is number six, Priner, who they said was the fastest in the lineup from the Belgian Maudens, Johnson Thompson, nicely there in uh, third place. It was Kulchinova who was the dropout there on that first lap. Happened very quickly, she must have suffered an injury early on. Now we've got to look out for Emerson, of course, who's near the back of that group, who's currently lying in second place with uh, Ndama hoping to move up the French athlete, but second from the back. But it's Johnson Thompson moving on to the second place now, behind Prano. And then Maudens, well, she's not going to figure in the medals, but uh, looking for a good time here, of course. Ikanyetsi uh, looking out for her as well. She's well to the back. It's Plina at 63.74. Good time at 400 meters. And she's the one athlete who's broken 2.10. Johnson Thompson in second place and going into the lead. Well, it'd be lovely to see the gold medalist win by winning the last event as well. And she's looking pretty strong here. And these two getting well clear of the rest of the field. The battle on for the minor medals, but it's Katrina Johnson Thompson looking for a second win. Prainer pushing her hard all the way. Number seven is Trisan, the Hungarian in third place, as it goes through the bell. And it's Katrina Johnson Thompson rounding off a superb day here on her way short to a, a certain second gold medal in the European Indoor Championships history. She scored 5,000 points in Prague. She's not going to beat that here, but she's having a splendid performance. Almost uh, brilliant, I could say, in every single event. And there's no better way than to finish it by winning. Katrina Johnson-Thompson comes in to take the gold medal and smash her indoor best. 2914. The other runners coming across the field behind her. And, uh, well, some way back now, we look at mountains of Belgium. They always finish really hard work but let's just recap what Johnson Thompson has done she started the day with 829 in the hurdles just below her best she then did a season's best 196 in the high jump she did a personal best in the shot at 1315 there's a little down in the long jump with that 636 it's still the best of the day and what a brilliant competition this youngster Neve Emerson has had as well we'll confirm the standings and the points and the times very shortly but Katrina Johnson Thompson it's all out but what a terrific last year she's had from that Commonwealth Games title the world indoor silver behind Nafi Tiam and now another gold medal in the European Indoor Championships and it's gone very very well for her right the way through this is the new up-and-coming talent from France Elaine Dharma not quite sure what she's done enough or not Johnson Thompson, I can tell you, has scored 977 points, so that takes her to uh, a terrific 4983 points, just uh, 17 behind what she did in Prague. Well, an absolutely phenomenal final event there for Johnson Thompson, setting a personal best indoors, setting a championship best indoors for the 800 metres. She really, really. Well, she was chasing that 5,000 meter, 5,000 meter, 5,000 points target. Just left herself just a, perhaps a little bit too much to do in comparison to her Prague score when she jumped 6.89 and by comparison 6.53 here in Glasgow. But all credit to Johnson Thompson. She could have just ambled round and just perhaps done maybe 2.15 and she'd have still won this competition by a decent margin. Time's well. coming through and Dharma 2.11.92 for 9.37 points. Dadich got 9.33 points. Emerson 9.27. Ikanietzi 9.07. So that uh, battle for the other medals really was close. And there we are. Emerson has taken the silver. 
gold and silver for Great Britain here. A marvellous 200-point addition to her personal best for Neve Emerson. And Ndama, as predicted, has come through with 4723, and that's a French record as well, in a very high standard event. Dadic 4702, Prainer. Uh, Ikanyetsi rather 4701 and then Prainer, national record for the Latvian as well. A very high standard competition with five women over 4,700 points. All coming good for Johnson Thompson. <laughs> well, I was so impressed that she just really gave it everything. She didn't rest on her laurels at all. Gold going to Katrina Johnson Thompson with 4,983 points, 252 points ahead of Neem Emerson, who smashed her personal best by a couple of hundred points, and Soleil Ndama setting a French record with 4,723. Dadic, Ikanyetsi also over 4,700 in what was a superb competition. Then Prainer, Kisan. Maudens and Vincenski, um, the finishers there. Klusinova started the last event, so she will qualify as 10th, as uh, but had to drop out very early on in the race. There they are, one and two for Great Britain. Good start for the host nation. But what a talent they both are. What a talent, Neve Emerson at 20. Katrina Johnson-Thompson, the successor to Jessica Ennis-Hill as Britain's top multi-eventer.